What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since I've done a workout related video so I'm going to be taking you guys along to the gym with me to run through a full body workout that I'm going to be doing and afterwards we're going to be doing some fall baking together. But we can't start our day without matcha. I've been telling you guys this for the last two years and I'm still telling you guys now. Matcha first thing in the morning every single day. I'm going to drink this and I'll see you guys at the gym. I've already warmed up so let's get right into it. All we'll need is a kettlebell and a pair of dumbbells for this full body workout. The first exercise is a kettlebell deadlift. This is one of my favorite exercises for waking up the glutes. Make sure you have a soft bend in the knees while doing the hip hinging movement and squeeze at the top. Exercise 2 is called a push up push back. The exercise is exactly as it sounds. You're going to do a push up and then push back while bending your knees without letting them touch the ground. This is just a body weight movement, but it targets both the upper and lower body and will for sure get your arms and your quads burning. Exercise number three is also one of my favorites to do, especially on a leg day, but I don't have a proper name for it, so we're just going to call it a kettlebell deadlift squat. You're going to start off doing a kettlebell deadlifting motion with the hip hinge. Use your shoulders to pull the kettlebell up to your chest and then squat. It's supposed to be one fluid full body motion. Exercise 4 is a mountain climber squat thruster. These are going to target the abs and the shoulders. Using a pair of dumbbells, get into push-up position. Drive your knees to your elbows, pop into a squat, and as you extend from the squat, press up the dumbbells. Exercise 5 is going to be alternating dumbbell rows and flies. These are going to target your upper back. The last bit of this workout is going to be an ab circuit. Typically, I don't structure anything specific for this portion of the workout just because I like to have fun and mix things up. For ab exercise 1, we're doing a dumbbell roll up. Ab exercise 2 is Russian twists. Ab exercise 3 is going to be a crunch with a dumbbell press. Done my workout. The sweat is real. If you can see, that's kind of gross, but I'll see you guys when I get back home. And we are back, feeling refreshed, changed my clothes, and now it's time to make some sweet treats. So in light of it being fall and pretty much the season of pumpkin spice everything, we're going to be making some vegan pumpkin cookies. And I know it kind of sounds contradictory coming home from the gym and baking some cookies, but I swear they're not all for me. I'm actually making them for Rudy because he's coming back from a work trip that he's been on for just over a week. These are definitely something that I can see being great to bring to your family Thanksgiving or your Friendsgiving even. Show them that just because something's vegan doesn't mean that it can't taste good. So these are the ingredients that we're going to be using, but nothing's quite measured out yet and it looks a little bit messy. So let's get these measured in three, two. Now let's get to making these cookies. To start, we're going to add the vegan butter, the white sugar, and the brown sugar into a mixing bowl and cream them together. Next, we're going to be adding in the pumpkin puree and vanilla extract and mix them together. Once you've got an even consistency, add in some all-purpose flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, nutmeg, and cinnamon. For this portion, you're going to want to mix by hand instead of with an electric mixer. 
Keep mixing until a dough consistency forms. The dough should look something like this. The flour is all blended in and the dough is moldable. Next, you're going to want to roll the dough into balls and place it on parchment paper and a baking tray. Usually, if you have an ice cream scoop, that would work best, but I didn't, so I just used my hands. Once you're done that, you're going to want to take a fork and flatten out the cookies. Now we're going to go ahead and pop these into the oven that's already been preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and leave them in there for 15 minutes. Once they're done, you're going to pop them back out. They'll be very soft right out of the oven, but they'll firm up as they cool. After about 5 minutes of cooling down, I'm going to be using this coconut condensed milk to drizzle over top. You can also make a maple icing glaze using maple syrup, icing sugar, and a little bit of plant milk, but I just wanted to test this out since I had it in my cupboard. Sprinkle a little extra cinnamon on top and you're done. So that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see the full written recipe and whether or not Rudy approves of my baking. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!